What's up guys and in this video we will be working with our shipping methods uh, sorry payments okay and you can see we've got so many payments right here we've got direct bank transfer we've got check payments we've got cash on delivery and we've also got the PayPal right now so in the direct bank transfer you can see um, take payment in person via B bank account transfer so um, this is how basically this bank account transfer is done. If you go and manage this, um, there is going to be like, um, you can enter your account information right here. Okay. And you can just enter the description, like make your payment directly into your bank account. Please use your add order ID as the payment reference. Your order will be shipped until, will not be shipped until the funds have cleared in our account. Okay. This is a demo description that is added. If you actually want to change it, you can definitely change it. And then in the account name, you can enter your account a name and then in the account number, the bank name the routing number and the IBAN and this right here okay so you can every add everything here and then you have to hit save okay and that's all you have to do so now when the person will come to um, us okay he will purchase something from our store okay he just comes up here he goes to the shop and then he say that he would like to purchase this so if you just click add to cart he's actually going to be redirected to the cart and then he can just go ahead and then he can say that I would like to proceed to checkout okay and then you can see it's right here. And then we've got this direct bank transfer. I choose this shipping method and then I hit place order. So once I hit place order, um, it will be taken there and then there would be the payment information right here. You can see it says our bank details, the bank owner name. We've got the bank, we've got the account number, we've got the routing number, and then we've got the IBN and BIC. So this is, you can see, everything we've got here is right being appeared. So this is um, how it is gonna work and that is called a payment for the bank. Now let's go ahead and let's move on to the next option and that is the check payments. I just click manage and you can see that here you can show like um, please send a check to your, here you can enter your store name, store street, store town, store state and then full address here. Okay, so description is basically the customer will see on the checkout and the instruction will be added to the thank you page and email. So this is actually the thank you page that was shown. So the instructions will be actually shown here. So you can actually copy everything from here and then you can also paste it. So it will also be sent to the email to the user. Okay, you can go ahead and you can um, just shave it and then you can come up here and then you can hit go back. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's move on to the cash on delivery. So cash on delivery will be, I think, normal. You don't have to change anything. Pay with cash upon delivery, pay with cash upon delivery. Same like this, we've got this um, enable for shipping methods. Okay, like if COD is only available um, for certain methods, set it up here, leave blank to enable for all. So if any flat rate method, United States if there, if China is there for the flat rate, if other location and any free shipping method. So if there is any free shipping method, there would be cash on delivery available, otherwise no, okay? So um, let's suppose that if someone, like um, if a flat rate is being applied, so then we don't have to enable the free shipping, okay? Uh, like um, we don't have to enable the cash on delivery because um, some countries, in some countries, we want to enable the cash on delivery. In some countries, we will not, okay? So um, if someone is basically in US and he, chosen, he has chosen the flat rate, then we will enable him the cash on delivery Otherwise, we will not enable him. We will, and we can enable him any other method. Okay, and then you can see we've got except for virtual orders and these like that. So let's go ahead and let's save it. And you can see um, if you just come up here right now and I go to shop and I, let me just show it to you. I just go ahead and I add something to, to the cart. Okay, I add this to the cart and I want to actually purchase it and I'm not in, um, and I'm basically in the US. Okay, I just go to proceed to checkout and this is the flat rate, then you can see I've got the cash on delivery. But if I'm actually not in the US, or if I have actually not chosen uh, the flat rate, I choose local pickup, then there would be no cash on delivery. Definitely, because for the local pickup, why would there be cash on delivery? Okay, so you can see this is how it's, it's gonna work. You can also choose flat rate, and you can choose a local pickup. So if there is a local pickup, there would be no cash on delivery options. Same like this, we are only applying the cash on delivery for US. If someone is not in the US, if someone is in UK, then we will not charge him. Uh, we will basically not give him the ability to actually get it cash on delivery. So this is how it's gonna work. Let's go ahead and let's go back. Now we've got the final option and that is called the PayPal. Don't worry, I will tell you how you can add the credit card option onto your website. 
But first, let's just continue with this. That are the things that are available. Um, I will tell you how you can add the credit card option to your website later on when we will be um, just finishing this section. Let's hit set up and you can see that once you hit set up, um, you can just go ahead and you can enter information. So here you have to enter your PayPal and then here you have to enter your email address and then here you can go down and you can just enter your receivable email. Then you can enter your PayPal identity token. This is actually not uh, this is actually not required, but still if you want to, then you can just hover your mouse here and it's going to tell you that you have to go to your profile profile and settings and my selling tools and then website preferences and then copy your identity token here. Okay, this will allow payments to be verified without without the need for the PayPal IPN. Okay, so if you actually want to um, just done be done everything automatically, then you can go ahead and you can en enter your PayPal identity token. Otherwise, um, it's not required. Okay, then we've got the invoice prefix. So invoice prefix is going to be like WooCommerce dash and then here would be a random number generated. Okay, so every thing has basically got a question mark here. So you can hover your mouse here and then you can get it. And here you can enter your logo basically here so that um, when you are actually taken to the PayPal page for processing, then you actually a logo is shown instead of your name. So you can do that too. And then what you have to do, you have to come up here and then you have to just um, um, save it. And then you have to go back. Okay. And then you can see this is right here. So I'm actually going to enable it because now I'm gonna start to receive the payment in my PayPal. So um, now if I just go ahead and I just go to my store, okay, um, let me click here. I just go to add to cart and now I'll try to buy it and I'll use the PayPal. Okay, um, I'll just hit proceed to checkout. You can see I've got this PayPal right now so I can just hit proceed to PayPal and it's going to actually redirect me to PayPal to enter my information. So billing postal code is actually not valid. I have to enter US here. And now let's go ahead and let's hit proceed to PayPal. So you can see it's going to actually redirect me to PayPal and then in here I can go ahead and I can enter my password and then I can log myself in and then I can pay that person the amount that I want to. So this is how it's, it's going to work. Um, same like this in the upcoming video lectures, I'm actually, I'm also going to be telling you how you can use PayPal sandbox to actually verify your payments, but that is not right here. When we will be just um, winding up this section, then I will tell you how you can go ahead and how you can work with the PayPal sandbox. PayPal sandbox is basically like a testing thing that you can do to actually test your payments, like are your payments actually being done? And this is what we call as PayPal sandbox can be used to test payments. So this is what we will be discussing when we will be winding up this section. Anyway, in the next video, I'm going to be telling you how to work with accounts and privacy. Bye-bye.